What's goody everyone, I'm Rich. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make another video about the S23 Ultra, uh, more specifically the 10 things I love most about it. Having used this phone for about half a year now, I've noticed some really good things about it. The S23 Ultra is technically far ahead of anything I believe that's available in the market today. I mean, with unique capabilities like DeX and the S Pen, uh, everything about this phone is smooth, fast, and leaves no stones unturned. <laughs> the experience is just, well, unparalleled. So uh, go down in the comments below and tell me if you uh, have this uh, or if you have any other phones, if you're looking at getting this, blah, 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 blah. Hit that like and subscribe button as it helps your boy out a lot. And let's get right into it. Yeah. First things first is that gift creator. This is a very practical tool. If you're a funny guy like me, I love using this. I use it pretty often to send to my friends and other stuff like that. You can do this by selecting the smart select tool with the S Pen, hitting the GIF option. And from there, you can make a box around the area to record in. This can make for some pretty hilarious gifts and I love how they built this right into the S23 Ultra. You can save these in your galleries. They'll always stay with you. I normally have a couple saved on stock, ready to go if I want to send them to whoever. So that's really cool. The second thing I love about this phone is the vast camera options, uh, including expert RAW for stuff like astrophotography, uh, 100 times zoom and night mode. For a lot of photography heads out there, you probably know what RAW is, but for those who don't, taking a RAW photo is the lossless, uncompressed data from a picture when you shoot the photo. This gives you the maximum amount of information to edit. And when you put this into your own photo editing software, like Adobe Lightroom, you can have a really wide control of what you can edit. But the expert RAW app you can download from the Samsung Galaxy Store, you can adjust everything from like the ISO, the shutter speed, the focus, the white balance, all those just to name a few. And it just really unlocks a lot of professional capabilities of this phone to use it like an actual professional camera. 100 times zoom is also very, very cool on this. I'm able to focus on like soccer fields or places so far away and actually does a pretty good job of stabilization. You know, I was able to snipe some photos of some people way in the distance and taking pictures at nighttime is also really great too. If you're out in the woods at nighttime, the suburbs area or the city, it all works really well well. You just gotta hold the phone still to make sure it aligns with the plus sign, give it a few seconds to start the post process, and the photos turn out really bright. Alright, so I'm outside right now on the balcony and I got the tripod set up with the S23 Ultra here. Astrophotography mode is set on. There are some stars and satellites there as you can tell. As you can see, there's a Sagittarius, there's Pluto. Oh man, it's kind of cool actually. You can see everything. The third thing I love about this phone, also regarding the camera, is going to be the director's view. This allows you to record footage using both the back and the front camera, and you can customize this to have it in picture-in-picture -in -picture mode, split, or single take, and I find this super, super handy when you're capturing reactions of yourself to anything, like maybe you're vlogging something or someone. It's amazing to record yourself and what's in front of you. And then moving on to the fourth thing I love about this phone is going to be Dex mode, Samsung Dex, baby, ooh! <laughs> All right, if you don't know what DeX is, uh, it allows you to connect your S23 Ultra or any Samsung device with this to a larger screen. You can cast anything like your home screen page, YouTube, and even play games on it as you would normally. And I think it really pushes its phone to its limits. You can use it as like a regular desktop computer with your finger. You can like cast it and do like a PowerPoint presentation or something like that. I find it really useful when I'm with my friends and we got like a TV and something like that and I want to show them like a GIF, a meme, a video or something I found or play a game. You can access Dex mode by swiping down from the top notification center twice, hitting that button, boom baby, you're in. Definitely try it out on your phone if you have one. If you don't, then hey, I gotta say you're missing out. And the fifth thing I love about the S23 Ultra has gotta be its display, all right? This is a really, really nice and big phone. It's rocking that 6.8 inch 1440p LTPO OLED panel with a top 120 hertz refresh rate. And this phone can get up to a max peak brightness of 1,750 nits. And you know, on a bright and sunny day where the sunlight is shooting straight down on the phone, I didn't have a problem looking at it. I mean, you can see it on here camera. It's still bright enough to get me through. I can see clearly what I need to. The 120 hertz screen is once again always a pleasure to look at. You know, navigating across the UI, the web, or social media looks and feels so nimble. The colors look wonderful and vibrant on this screen as it's using a DCI-P3 color space rather than the standard sRGB range, which makes HDR content like this look even more powerful and even more colorful. And if you're watching some content or playing some games on it, I mean, there's no other way of saying it. It just looks so good. Samsung has been known for making great screens. I mean, they even manufacture a large 
100% of iPhone screens. Their TVs and monitors are wonderful. Their phones, even towards like the budget range is so nice. And with that too, the sixth thing I love about this is gonna be the hardware that's in here, especially the CPU, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which I've talked about many times before. And this is featured on the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra and the Z Fold and Flip 5s. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 has a slightly higher max clock speed on the performance core and GPU. So to be exact, 3.36 gigahertz instead of 3.2 on the performance core and 719 megahertz on the GPU. And when I was using this on the regular S23, I felt like it was very fast enough, but something about the S23 Ultra felt a little bit more responsive. Loading up apps, navigating across the UI, typing, you know, all the hand gestures and stuff like that opens very instantaneously almost after a half a year now. For example, I can be video calling a friend on Instagram and be playing a game at the same time while you know texting someone else and I can quickly swap over that uh, there won't be any slowdowns at all uh, thanks to 12 gigabytes of RAM that's in here that's that's a lot I haven't seen any augmented reality apps or AI stuff that's gonna be requiring that much RAM on a phone I mean I just think that's overkill but it's good to hear that because um, you're gonna be set for the oncoming months and years ahead I think it's a very worthwhile purchase I'd say after 35 minutes of gaming and all that load I was just talking about the phone does get just a little bit hot to the top the thermals are a little bit good on this I felt like since it is a bigger phone there is more space for the heat to dissipate and that kind of segues itself to the seventh thing I love about this phone which is gonna be that battery life with the phone this large they're able to support a 5,000 milliamp battery yeah so after half a year I felt like the battery life hasn't depleted in any sorts of way it's still going very strong I mean with the 120 Hertz refresh rate uh, mode on here I was able to go up to 11 to 14 hours of full playback that included any videos I watched texting uh, gaming social media I can still go almost two full days with this without having to charge this and it does support up to 45 watts of fast charging so yes yeah, plugging this in with USB-C charging and that 45 watt brick I was able to go from 0 to 100 100% and less than 80 minutes. The eighth thing I love about the S23 Ultra, which is going to be unique to this, is uh, the S Pen shutter, all right? You do not know how many times I was able to take the pen out put the phone, prop it up somewhere, and you know, go a little bit farther out to take a picture of myself simply by clicking the button that's on here. Sometimes too, when I don't feel like bringing my camera all around, I'll even bring a tripod with the phone mount included. And I can just prop it up real quick, step back and take a picture of myself for the Instagram, take a picture of my friends or in a group. I don't need to worry about putting a timer mode on and running to my position to take that photo. I can just take my time and, and take the picture when I want. And with this S Pen, the ninth thing I love about this phone is gonna be a Samsung Notes. And I just think this phone really makes for some great note taking. I remember back when I was in school and I needed to jot down some notes real quick. Uh, I could just, you know, use my phone and pull the pen out start writing right away, save that. And I also made another YouTube shorts talking about all the features I love most about Samsung Notes. Like the way they set up the notes actually feels like you're writing on a normal piece of paper. You can change the background color, the template, the sheet you're working with. You can add voice recordings directly onto the notes, which is useful for conferences, presentations, or lectures. So definitely give the Samsung Notes app a try and watch my YouTube shorts to know a little bit more about exactly what I'm talking about. And the last thing I wanna talk about is gonna be uh, developer mode on the S23 Ultra. Developer mode is really neat as this allows you to take control of your phone and you know change settings like the animation speed of how your apps load which can like speed things up you can do this by going to the settings scrolling all the way down to the about phone going to software information and then hitting the build number like seven times after this you can go back go down towards the settings where you can see developer options open that baby up and yes you can check how much ram you're using you can show the refresh rate of your phone the animation duration scale i take that and change it to 0.5 this way things open up at half the speed anyways those are my 10 best features i love about the s23 ultra let me know what yours are and if i forgot any let me know down in the comments i've come to appreciate it a little bit more after the months go by it's certainly different from something like say the iphone but i think each of its phone has its goods and bad so let me know what you think Anyways, that's all I got for today's video, and until the next one, everyone, I'll see you then.